Hello everyone. In today's class, let us find the derivative of secant x by first principle method. In our previous classes, we have discussed what the first principle method and how we use first principle method to find the derivative of some continuous function y which is a function of x. Here x is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable. So let us consider y equal to f of x where f of x is secant x. We need to differentiate secant x with respect to x. So here f of x equal to secant x then f of x plus h will be equal to secant of x plus h. Then according to the first principle method dy by dx equal to limit as h tending to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. So substituting the values limit as h tending to 0 f of x plus h is nothing but secant x plus h minus f of x is nothing but secant x divided by h. So this is nothing but limit as h tending to 0. Here secant x plus h is there. So secant x plus h can be written as 1 by cos of x plus h minus secant x is nothing but 1 by cos divided by here h is there. So can be written as limit as h tending to 0. Here we need to take the LCM. This will be cos x minus cos of x plus h divided by cos of x plus h into cos x. Whole divided by h is there. So I will bring it to the numerator by its denominator. Now this can be written as limit as h tending to 0. This is in the form cos a minus cos b. The, uh, the value of cos of a minus b is nothing but 2 sin a plus b by 2 into sin a minus b by 2. So minus 2 sin a plus b that is x plus x plus h. Here this is the value of a and this is the value of b by 2 is there into sin of a minus x plus h so this is the value of b divided by 2 whole divided by h into cos of x plus h into cos x as it is can be written as limit as h tending to 0 here so here 2 times minus is there sine of that is 2x plus h divided by 2 into sin of here x x will get cancels so minus h will left divided by h into cos of x plus h into cos x can be written as limit as h tending to h tending to 0 so this can be written as here minus h is there sin of minus h is nothing but minus sin h so minus here one minus there minus sign is there. So this will be this will become plus 2 sine of 2x plus h divided by 2 and the sine of x. Here h is a sine h divided by h into cos of x plus h into cos x we left. Right? Now we need here i think h by 2 is the right h by 2 here also h by 2 okay now we need h by 2 here also so i will multiply by 2 also now we can combine this h by 2 h by 2 with sine function as we know limit as theta tending to 0 sine theta divided by theta is 1 we'll use this formula this will applying the limit equal to 2 times sin h tending to 0 so 2x plus h will become 2x by 2 
divided by so cos x plus h is there Co cos x plus h is nothing but cos x into cos x is there so this will be cos square x here 2 took it cancels and here 1 2 is there in the denominator also we have 1 2 so here also 2 2 will get cancelled so we left with sin x divided by cos square x so this is nothing but sin x by cos x is a tan x into 1 by cos x is second x second x therefore d by dx of second x is nothing but tan x into secant x. So, we use this formula in our next results.